I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Tulsa police are investigating after an 18 year old was shot in the head early this morning. Tulsa police say they responded to the call near 4500 North Kenosha after someone shot several rounds into a home. They say the teenager was sleeping on a couch at the home when one of the bullets hit him in the head and in the hand. Tulsa police say both wounds are superficial and they are still investigating exactly what happened. Meanwhile, more than $1 million is coming to Oklahoma to help veterans. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs has given two scientists at Oklahoma Medical Research Foundation $1.3 million to study aging. Research is underway, but it could take five to ten years to get answers. And the Oklahoma Health Care Authority is hiring a consultant to find an alternative to expanding Medicaid. On Friday, we told you how a petition to put Medicaid expansion on the ballot had more than the required number of signatures validated. But state leaders argue expanding it is too expensive, which is why Governor Kevin Stitt is bringing in a consultant to help create a new state Medicaid program instead. And let's get a check of that holiday week forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. We're starting off the week on a great note. A lot of sunshine expected for us this afternoon. Temperatures are going to be into the mid 60s heading into tomorrow. Very windy mid 70s, a little bit cooler for Wednesday. Still good travel weather for Wednesday. Heading into Thanksgiving, it does get a lot cooler. Rain chances pretty high. Storm chances pick up for Friday 60s. Some of those could even be strong. Rain chances through Saturday morning and Saturday afternoon 60s and then a cool down Sunday with highs in the 40s. Aaron. All right, thanks, Clint. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.